I've just made it home to my parents' house, finally. Oh gosh. And I've just like, I have pimples, traveling pimples now because when you're in a car for that long, um, your face just gets, I don't know, just it's not good for your face for whatever reason. I know I don't know why that is, but that is true. I've just gotten home and I've said hi to my parents already. I like literally just got here. Oh, why is this so blurry? Can it not? Well, I walk in the house and I see a little chihuahua that I've never seen before. And I guess my mom got a brand new chihuahua and she's so cute. I'll show you her later. Her name's Lucy. She's a little black chihuahua. And I guess she just got her yesterday. So brand new. Uh, she got it from the animal shelter. There's lots of chihuahuas in the animal shelter. It's so hot. Oh my god. I'm dying. I have the window open. But I'm like literally. I wish my parents believed in turning on the freaking AC. But they don't apparently. Because I told them I was really hot. And they said, oh, open the window. So I opened the window, of course. And it's like not any better at all. Like I, I'm gonna sit next to the window. Seriously, these pimples are really annoying me because I can see them in the viewfinder thing. Um, they look just so weird on my face. Those will be gone tomorrow though. Um, one thing, oh God, it's so distracting. A couple things I've, notice already just being back in Sacramento where I grew up obviously is like the like as soon as I started like driving because I drove all the way from San Diego to here which I almost did not make it today which I'll, I'll tell you in a minute as soon as I drove up I saw downtown I just like sighed of relief I was like oh it's home and I felt like I was actually looking at it differently. I look at Sacramento as um, like with new eyes. I, I, I think I, I can appreciate it more than when I actually lived here. And one thing that shocked me, it shocks me every time. It's always like this, I don't know if you would consider this culture shock. I always, always, always notice how the HOV lanes are different in Northern California versus Southern California. So the HOV lanes or the, uh, what do they call them? The carpool lanes up here in Northern California, they're only from, um, they, they only exist as carpool lanes from the hours of, I think, early until 10 a.m. And then from 10 a.m. until I think 3 p.m it's not a carpool lane and then after 3 p.m it becomes a carpool lane again until like 6 or 7 p.m i think 7 p.m and then after 7 p.m it's no longer a carpool lane so at night and in the afternoon and on weekends it does it's not a carpool lane anyone can go in it but in southern california it is all the time all the time so their carpool lane is like in LA and San Diego is always a carpool lane no matter what time or day it is so that's always something I notice and then another thing is just driving up to my neighborhood was just a weird feeling it's always a weird feeling being so far away from home and then coming back and then just like being here is just really weird for me but it's kind of cool too especially because now I feel like I appreciate the the whole city just more and I don't know it's an interesting feeling that's hard to describe but yes <laughs> I almost did not make it here today I almost actually turned back and uh, went home back to San Diego I think I I made it like about an hour out I think about and then I I contemplated turning contemplated turning back and the reason is for one it, the time like i i got i got about five hours of sleep last night three solid hours and then two hours of like kind of uh silencing my alarm and it's daylight savings yesterday 
at 2 a.m. It, it turned from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. immediately and that was like the most depressing thing ever. I didn't get to sleep until like 6 a.m. It sucked. It totally sucked. This part is TMI but I'm going to say it anyways because this channel is about being authentic as authentically as I can and I'm just gonna say it because it's true. Me and Dino ate like these meat sticks last night and they were like these bison like cheddar sn snack sticks, you know? And um, I think they were in the fridge for just a bit too long because the next day both me and Dino had upset stomachs and it was like, it didn't last that long but it lasted long enough to make me question if I had like food poisoning or something. I was like, do I? Is this what food poisoning is like? It turns out I didn't, but I definitely felt like uh, I didn't want to risk going out in the middle of nowhere having food poisoning potentially. So after I was like, uh, like an hour out, I was like, is my stomach gonna get upset again? And then it, I kind of felt a little bit weird but I ended up being fine and it settled down so I kept going but I seriously seriously contemplated calling Dino and being like I'm gonna turn around and just head out tomorrow because I'm not feeling that great and um but I didn't speaking of being tired I'm actually really tired right now so really wanted to go downtown and like have really good coffee and get some goodies that I have not had in a long time. I want to make some room for that, you know what I'm saying? I want to have it for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I'm only going to be able to have it for such a short amount of time. So I definitely want to like get my fill of like all the goodies and stuff downtown and probably edit my vlog there. Kill two birds with one stone. So I'm going to go to sleep and I will see you tomorrow. From Hello baby. Hello, oh, Lucy. I just put her Hi, on my Lucy. Facebook. Hey. Are you so pretty? Oh, oh, look at the you. Look how cute you five. are. Morning, guys. I am now downtown with mi madre. Mi Morning. madre. And we're walking to get some lunch. We just got done doing some work at a coffee shop. It was really nice. I love downtown, it's such a beautiful day and I'm wearing long sleeves because I'm a nerd and I should not have worn long, long sleeves today. Let's cross here. Most people in Sacramento don't know how to dress. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing most of the time. We can go outside and it's cold and then before you know it, it's like seriously hot. I mean, that's the same thing in San Diego, sort of. I don't know how to dress in San Diego either. But, um, yeah, so I finally got some editing done and I'm, I'm glad about that, but I still need like to edit two more things. So I'll do that later today. Today is just a free day for me. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of doing whatever. And uh, tomorrow I go to San Jose, so. That'll be a busy day. And I think I'm gonna stay an extra day as well. Just because I don't wanna go home the day after. I I just, it's, so, it's too much driving, too much. So, <laughs> yeah, let's go get some food. I have not, I didn't eat dinner last night because I got in so late. There's a car coming right here. Um, yeah, so I didn't eat dinner last night. I didn't eat breakfast today just because time so this is like the first meal I'm gonna have in like almost a whole day. <laughs> Closed Mondays.
intricately happy. She laughed with her whole she body. She laughed with her whole body. <laughs> and when you were with her, you felt like you were truly with her. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. So she gave you her undivided, her whole self. She yeah. gave of her whole self when you were with her. Aww. So that made you feel like uh, you were together in a way that would be difficult to feel if somebody's not truly with you. Mm -hmm. Like their mind could be somewhere else or yeah. whatever. Or you're not important enough, you know, because you're a kid. Yeah. You're not important to pay attention to or take seriously. Mm -hmm. She sees past the person, the person's shell, exterior shell, and sees who the person is on the inside. Mm. And that's how she responds to people, mm. who you really are. Mm -hmm. And when she doesn't like somebody, she does not put on airs. <laughs> What's at that? All. Airs? What does that mean? That means that um, you, she cannot hide the fact that she does not like you. <laughs> so you're gonna know instantly where, the, where you stand with her. Yeah. To use her phrase, which I never understood, but it always made me laugh. She's meaner than, than cat piss. I'm meaner than cat piss. I'm all like, who says that? <laughs> <laughs> and why would you say that about yourself? Oh. Uh, In funny. other words, don't cross me. That's funny. That kind of reminds me of me. <laughs> Is that why you said I would like her? Yeah. Because I'm kind of like that too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's awesome. also why I like that part yeah. of you because you do know where you stand with you. Yeah. And yeah. you are meaner than cat puss when you don't like something. It's true. I, it's true. I let people know yeah. if I need them to know. Yes. Otherwise, you dismiss people. Yeah, I do. Yeah. But I also welcome people, too. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean that you didn't. Yeah. I just meant when you don't like someone, you're very dismissive. Yeah. I'm, I'm both, for sure. Yeah. <gasps> Hi, little Lucy. <laughs> Hello, little Twice Lucy. Is intense. Yeah. She's so happy. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, here I go. I'm at home now and I still need to edit uh, more. So that's what I'm gonna do. The coffee shop I was at did not have a plug to plug in my laptop. So I needed to come home and finish this and upload. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, tell me why my mom still has this. This was mine. It's freaking, it's a candy tin from the year 2000. And apparently she kept it. I remember this too. Like I remember eating these sour grape hard candy things and she still has this. 10. Oh my gosh. Just gone to Whole Foods and I'm on my way to my sister's house now. Uh, I've gotten a pack of six San Pellegrino sparkly waters because I was basically dying of thirst because um, I didn't really feel like drinking tap water at my parents' house. So I kind of waited. Oh my god. I need to put my sunglasses on. Um, I kind of waited because I knew I was going to go to Whole Foods in a bit. So I edited and uploaded a video. Um, it's not out yet, but I'm going to put it out later today. Um, actually, probably tomorrow. Let me put you here. Whew, that's better. So yeah, I'm going to go to my sister's house now. And I finally have drinking water. I would have, for the record, I would have drank my parents' friggin' tap water if I wasn't going to Whole Foods. Um, but I knew I was, so, you know, 
I'm picky, but when it comes down to it, like I will drink some shit water um, if need be. And I won't complain about it either. If I have the room to um, grab some of my um, preferred water, then shit, I'll do it. I mean, it's fine. You know, I'm not, I'm not like dehydrated or anything because I drank some water earlier, but. Oh, I also got, um, I got some gnocchi. I'm pronouncing it right now. I remember someone in my comments, um, I, I used to pronounce it gnocchi because I thought it was Italian. I didn't know it was like, um, I don't know if it's like a Russian word or somewhere in that area. Um, but someone in my comments told me that it's not pronounced nochi and that it's, ooh, big ass truck, uh, blocking the sun. That was nice. It's not pronounced, pronounced nochi. It's gnocchi or something like that. I, I hope I'm saying it right now, but it's, I think it's gnocchi, like gnocchi. I don't know, but thank you for, for correcting me. Cause I seriously thought I was saying it right. I was like, it's gotta be nochi, right? Like pizza nochi like i thought the two c's meant a ch sound did not know that i was saying it wrong <gasps> baby is that your little tamagotchi that i gave you many years ago go get your go get your toy your little tamagotchi can i have it can i have it can i have it can i have it look it's tamagotchi exactly why it's just old like yeah it's old she has had it forever huh you failed to mention huh, baby this? What's this? Do you want this? Go get it. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, you don't. No take, only throw. No take, only throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna eat now. Got my gnocchi. Gnocchi. Want to eat? Wanna eat? Want to eat? Do you want to take a bath? Want to eat? Aww. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Baby Lou, how do you do? <laughs> Dobby? Dobby ears? Do you look like Dobby? Little Dobby girl. You should have named her Dobby. What were you thinking? I wasn't. Dobby! Dobby girl! <laughs> See? Dobby Chan! No, I can't. Dobby Chan! Hey, Dobby! 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 Come here, Dobby! Phoebe! It sounds like we're saying doggy. It does. <laughs> She's like, ribs? Are you oh. ribs? <laughs> just a little less you in my car in the cup holder so I don't have to look and be distracted I hate it like I've had um one of those mount thing things before for like cameras and they're so distracting when you put them in the window I know it's like I know it's totally I think it's totally legal to have like a camera in your car like on a mount or whatever and you know like uber drivers and stuff have their gps on the thing and i tried that but it's really distracting actually i don't like it um you kind of have to find that like sweet spot and i just didn't find it anyway so it is a new day and i'm heading off to get some coffee before i go to san jose for my appointment I really need some coffee right now. Girl, you are driving, doing the most, okay? With your, with your secondhand cop car ass. It's someone with like a, one of those cop cars, but it's not a cop. They just like bought the car after the cops were done with it, I guess. Goddamn, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna turn my music up now. Um, I really don't want a copyright strike, so I'm not gonna let you listen to it. Bye. Good morning, 
guys it is a new day this is my last day in sacramento before i leave tomorrow and i did not vlog um, much at all yesterday um, because that's when i had my appointment in san jose but uh i'm hoping to vlog a bit this like today i almost said this day who talks like that it's already noon i woke up really late i had the longest sleep of my life it was so nice I actually went to sleep last night and I woke up at like 11 something today <laughs> and I just got ready and I'm gonna go to brunch with my mom I don't even know I don't know if it's brunch or lunch or whatever but we're going to this new restaurant that just opened it's a gluten-free restaurant downtown and we're gonna go there and then I'm gonna hang out with my sister later when she gets off of work and stay the night at her house <sighs> Dino was texting me. He just got, he just bought, um, Lunala and Sogaleo tins for us. I guess they just came out today, or no, they came out sometime, I don't know, but he got some today. He's just texting that to me. Ugh, yay. He said, Lunala, wait, oh wait, no, 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 I almost said yes to this. He said, Lunala for me and Sogaleo for you, dealsies. And I almost said yes, because I thought he said it the other way around. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't say that. Um, no. Alright, well, I'm going to get, like, actual clothes on, because I'm wearing my Pokemon shirt. And, um, get going. <laughs> it's my dog. Uh, my dad and the new dog. Not like that, no. Please, please don't. <laughs> Sweet little Lucy. <laughs> to my sister's house now I don't know <laughs> I'm so, I've been so slacking on this vlogging thing this whole trip I might have to just condense it into like one or two vlogs but you know I'll share with you guys what I can and um what the hell oh shoot I forgot my ice cream. Hold on, I have to go back inside. Girl, okay, so I bought I bought some ginger Elizabeth ice cream and it's like butter pecan and it's so good. Girl, can this not right now? I think I have a little bit of caramel on my, <laughs> on my glasses because I was eating it. What the heck? Get off. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back inside and get my ice cream. Hi, puppy. Oh. 